I made every single enemy in Wind Waker invisible. And the goal is quite simple. Beat the entire game while completing every single dungeon with minimal glitches. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go! So, uh, let's start the first cutscene, shall we? This uh, cutscene right here is when Tatra are captured by Helmrock. Uh, however, as you might know, Helmrock is an enemy. So, uh, <laughs> uh, no Helmrock, um, <laughs> will be on screen because every single enemy is invisible on this mod. So, uh, she's kind of just flying over there. Bye, Tetra. All right, so if you never watched Wind Waker, somehow uh, the early game of Wind Waker does have a lot of cutscenes. So we're kind of just going to try and speed run through the beginning of this game right now. Uh, by the way, that is a Bacoblin, but I'm just going to completely ignore him. There's literally no reason for me to bother with him. Yeah, this guy is definitely very aggressive. Hi, sister. Hi, Ariel. Oh, God. Watch out for the invisible bird. Watch out for the air. Oh no, not the air. Not the air. Not the air. Oh no. Oh no, she got caught by the air. Yeah, the wind is quite crazy these days. Bye. Yep, that's why it's called the Wind Waker, because the breezes in this game is quite strong. Hey, Linkus, how do we know what the so-called enemies are? What if the real enemy is us? Couldn't be, we're good. Well, we're like halfway done with early game. Let's speed run through for Second Fortress, shall we? And uh, then let's uh, continue on with the game. What are those eyes in the background? What the hell? There, that's not even an enemy. What is that? All right, first the Coblin. Oh God, not the floating stick enemy. All right, he's gone. Oof. Uh, here, because I am a speedrunner, this shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to just roll past these guards. Thankfully, the years of speedrunning should have allowed me to be able to just run past Forsaken Fortress, no problem. As a side effect of making all enemies invisible, I had to place their eyes at positioning 0, 0, 0 on the map, which for Forsaken Fortress is down there. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, no. Not the floating sword. All right, this part's a really, really easy. The thing that is really, really difficult is some of the bosses. Like for everyone in the chat right now, that's like, but Linkus, this will never be a challenge with the targets. Just wait until you have enemies and bosses where the target is not their uh, actual weak spot. For example, Puppet Ganon. Trust me when I say that if you think this is easy, I dare you to try and be pup again and within like 10 15 minutes with this mod. <laughs> Honestly, we should have made Tangle invisible. He does feel like a bit of an enemy to me. Oh god, I just realized we're gonna hear so much pwing this run. Oh no, not the pwings. Maybe I should allow super swimming just... Like, maybe I should allow just super swimming as a glitch, but keep the rest. Anyways, with that being said, chat! Let's get on with our first dungeon. And add time. Another Eden is a JRPG, with the main story being written by Masada Kado, a veteran who's worked on countless games such as Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, and Final Fantasy XI. And Chrono Cross was first released in North America in 2000 which is a sequel to Chrono Trigger. And in this game, Another Eden, the camp beyond time and space, it offers something the fans have been waiting for for years at this point, a Chrono Cross crossover story called Complex Dream. This game will offer hours of content, featuring story content, exclusive stories, and tons of features inspired by the crossover IP. And best of all, all of this content that I just mentioned is free. So if you're ready to experience some console-grade immersive story, soundtrack with live instruments, detailed character illustrations, and world building, and much more, then please sign up with the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much, Red Flyer Studio, for sponsoring this video. I don't know, this is more like a flex playthrough, honestly, because I have played so many hours of Wind Waker that for a lot of these dungeons like Dragon Roost, I should be able to get through this with just muscle memory, 
even though the enemies are invisible, I just know when to attack. I should, without getting too cocky, get through this uh, easily. Oh no. Oh, thank God. I am sorry, but... Wait, why can you see their... Hold up. Did you see... Th the rat's tail is visible, but the body is invisible. That's even worse. Their tails are actually treated as ropes in the game. Are you serious? All right, here's where I'm gonna do my uh, first item slide in the game because I have to I have to run around and do a bunch of rooms. There's literally just no really enemies I'll be dodging. So we're gonna save ourselves a little bit of time in item slide past the gap in Dragon Roost. Oh yeah. No! I can't see when he opens his mouth! Oh sh- I just have to jump slash and hope for the best. Now. Now. Damn it. <laughs> now. Oh, perfect. Now. Now. Yes, easy. Link, you good? Oh, no, not the lava. Dude, this is the most terrifying fight I've ever seen. Lava. Oh no, lava and skull cracking. The dragon isn't an enemy. He's our friend. He literally saves us from death halfway through the game. Uh, where's the front of Goma? Uh, I think it's over there, so I should stand here. I think. Easy. Like I said, Dragon Roost is going to be one of the easiest things for me ever to do. Also, uh, I'm going to do a super swim here because this is not really skipping anything or any enemies in the game. And I'm not going to take the time to sail a thousand years around the ocean. So let's just super swim to Forest Haven. Hey, look, there's just my car. Easy. Let's go. No fear here. No, my car! Dude, those are some sick ropes. Sick ropes, bro. Easy clap. Also, for context, if you're wondering why you can still see those vines, unfortunately, vines uh, are treated as literal ropes, and it messes with the game a lot if you remove them. So unfortunately, we can't really remove those textures because they're not as part of the enemy. They're literally treated as a physical rope they're hanging swinging in, in the game. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, so right here, you're supposed to sail all the way to um, Greatfish, which is across the entire ocean. So we're going to item slide instead, because it doesn't skip literally any enemy fights whatsoever. Skipping those invisible sharks. Yeah, sorry, that is true. We are skipping a shark or two. I did it! Thank you, Rafa, for the 10,000 bits! For the love of God, please do the pwings! All right, fine. We'll swing our way over to Windfall. All right, here we go. Time for swings. Hope you enjoy, Chad. Oh no, not the invisible shark! I I want to see if I could pull off password skip on emulator. Let's see if I actually can. So close. Cheating. Fine. We'll watch the cutscene. I'm only doing this because I'm 100% gonna cheat and skip some of the game later on. So, I'll give you this. 
Aye, aye, Captain. What's today's password again? Password is Schooner. Okay. I actually don't know any of the English passwords. I only know them in Italian. I know like a couple of the Italian passwords. I've never ever had an English password for the pirate ship. All right, now we are going to go to Outset Island. Sorry, chat, but no, we're not gonna go and save Grandma. Grandma is not going to be saved in today's run. Unfortunately, she's just a bit too old to be saved. It's because she's invisible, so I wouldn't even find her. I just walk in there and be like, mod check, because she's actually secretly Ganondorf. It's part of the official lore, trust me. All right, chat, what would you rather do? Would you rather go fast or lose time to save your grandma? Let's be realistic here. What? Oh, these statues can be enemies. I forgot. Thank God I know where they are. What? A Manen! How is that jump not good? Dude, can I please get this skip? I don't want to build a bridge. We've all seen me play Poly Bridge. It's not good. Thank you. Oh no, not the floating sword. I'm realizing that for enemies where it's muscle memory of how to fight it because it's the same every time, this challenge is not as bad as I was thinking it is. For enemies that have random patterns like Puppet Ganon, really bad. For enemies like this, really not that bad. Like, this would be really hard for the average player right there, but, like, having that memorized doesn't make it as hard. What?! I think something in Emulator is messed up. Even with holding the analog stick the entire way forward, he only does short jumps. He doesn't jump as long as he should. With the statue. What do you mean, sure? What How do I possibly mess up an input where all I'm supposed to have to do is hold forward? I think I'll just throw him across the gap, then jump over, then get him. He doesn't reach it if you throw him. Please work. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> we solved the super difficult puzzle! Yes! Oh god, I forgot this is hero mode. Oh god, I only have one heart. Wait, that's fine. There's a fairy coming up. Oh god, get the fairy, get the fairy, get the fairy. This is the first heal I can get. Oh, thank god. Whew! Wait. Where's his hands? Where's his head? Hello? If targeting was disabled here, this boss would actually be impossible. Like, already knowing how difficult Puppet Ganon is going to be, this without targeting legitimately would be the end of me. Yeah, I forgot the Lens of Truth in Ocarina of Time. Did someone borrow me their Lens of Truth, please? This is going surprisingly well, dude. I'm starting to realize that having speedrun Wind Waker HD for like four years doesn't make enemies being invisible that difficult. It's almost like I've learned something in the past couple of years. Let's go! The path can now be open. I don't even remember what these cutscenes says. It's been so long since I played it in English. I should have gotten Grandma Soup. I just realized that to fight the enemies in Hyrule. Crap. You've done well, Link 7. Thanks. It's just because I'm a Giga Chad. All right, let's solve this super difficult puzzle. Oh boy, I hope I don't fail. All right, let's take these enemies down, Chad. Thank God I'm a Giga Chad. I forgot it's double damage in hero mode. So far everything is fine. 
Keeping it up with one HP. All right, I got a five head strapper this section. I'm out of arrows. But that's fine, because now they're weak. Easy clap. Ah! Oh, he helped me out. Thanks, bro. Think this is the last one. <sighs> Think that's it. Easy clap. All right, let's get some hearts. I'm only a one. I'm an idiot. This is hero mode. I can't get heart drops. Ah. Oh! Whatever, it's fine. I don't need more than one heart. That's all I need. Wait, he's not invisible! Scam! Link is clickbaited as all! I guess it's confirmed, chat. The big frog is our friend. Why are people happy? All right, let's do this with one heart, shall we? Um... All right, can't wait to fight the flying sword and cloak. The cape is generated via code, so couldn't make it invisible. Why? Like, why? Why would they not make that a model or a texture? Why would they make that with code? It's the same thing by G with Ganon's cape and the Ocarina of Time. It's entirely coded with insane physics for its time. Damn. I guess Nintendo really want their capes to have physics. Gotta get those. I mean, I appreciate it though. Like, this is such a realistic game. You know, like, if it wouldn't have told you this is a video game, you could have believed this was real life. So I appreciate that Nintendo goes through the extra effort of making the cape have realistic physics, you know? Alright, uh, close your eyes for one second, chat. Alright, you can open them now. Holy crap! Poggy streamer, how did he make it here so fast? Oh no, air is back. Not the air fight! Here we go. Oh god, it's the feather boss. Ah. Uh, I have no idea if he's charge attacking or not. Ah, stop attack. Stop attack, stop attack, stop attack. Hit the pots for hearts. It's hero mode. I can't. Ah! This is just unfair. Two hits and invisible attacks. Bird up. Please peck me one more time. Damn it. Alright, time to be careful. I'm just going to be rolling left and right here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Bro! Come back down! Oh! Pause champ? Please back me. No! Oh my god. Yes! Please one more, please one more, please one more. Please, please, please! Damn it! Three out of four, one more. This is some horrible RNG, dude. Oh, boss champ. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Easy clap. Aaron Feathers have been defeated. Yeah, Ganondorf is not invisible here because he's our friend. No, I said this earlier. Some Ganondorfs are invisible. Some are visible. The one we fight is invisible. But this game has multiple Ganondorfs because he does different things in the cutscenes. 
So because of that, making Ganondorf the fight invisible and the one in the final area does not make all of them invisible. Because there's multiple models uh, that is used for different cutscenes in the game for a Ganon. Wait, what? Tetra was Zelda this whole time? No way! All right, let's go and beat Earth and Wind Temple. All right, this dungeon should be easy, Clack. I've speedrun this game way too many hours to have any problem with these dungeons. Also, I'm gonna do this boss key skip, or try to at least. I don't know if I'll be able to get the timing because frame perfect wall clip, but there's literally nothing really I'm skipping in the basement other than a slow, tedious puzzle. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get this frame perfect roll clip here. Hold that thought. What just happened? I guess that's zero, zero, zero in this, uh, in this area, because I know there's some bugs with how the models react with the mod at zero, zero, zero. Oh yeah, it's back. What the hell? Easy clap. It looks like a Teletubby true. We did it! Let's go! We got a bigger sword. Puppet Ganon? I actually tried Puppet Ganon for a little bit offline and gave up because of how difficult it was. And I thought if I'm beating this, it's on stream because it's going to take me a long time unless I'm stupid lucky. The first phase is not too difficult. When you get to the second phase, however, it's really bad. Because the target, you can't use it. The target is his head. And since you don't know where he lands, you pretty much just turn around, shoot blindly, and pray to God. And hope that it hits the ball. I didn't get a single hit in on second phase after trying for like 5-10 minutes, so... That should hit the eye. That should hit the eye. Hello? I. I. Thank you. Believe it or not, I'm actually gonna go and save Grandma before Puppet Ganon because Puppet Ganon is the pain of my existence. God, I love my car. My car is the most precious human being ever. I guess he's not a human, but still. I consider him my bro, my pal, my homie. He's the type of homie that you kiss goodnight before bed, you know? My car! I love you! I'm going to... I don't... Uh, yeah, I'm barely skipping anything. Whatever, dude. I'm not going to go ahead and go through and save my car. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm not going through the efforts of going uh, to doing that. There's no really enemy sk uh, fights anyways. It's just a bunch of back and forth backtracking to save my car just to get this door open. He's going to stay there. Bro! Bro! What happened to your homie that you kissed goodnight, Linkus? Uh... He ate fish before our last kiss, so I have a bit of a grudge with him right now. My game just crashed! What? I- I guess karma? I'm sorry! Alright, let's... Leave... Then save and quit, then restart, then turn mod back on, and hopefully it'll be fine. It- hopefully it's just something we win temple. I already bug tested because it's uh, I was supposed to do all dungeons, but this kind of is all dungeons It's just missing one boss 
I just realized something really bad. I might not be able to go through Pup again with Hero Mode on. Pup, unless I'm willing to reset a lot. Because if you get below 3 HP, the game refuses to give you a magic drop until you get a heart to pick you back up above 3 HP. I'm gonna try and still do it, but if I get hit below 3 HP and run out of magic, I literally can't get more magic in the game. I literally can't. I, when I'm out of the pots around the arena, the keys physically can't give it to me. Until I pretty much die and redo it all. So we're definitely going to get soup so we can at least get the pots around and reset our health. But once we get below 3 HP, it's over. Soup glitch does not work in HD. We'll pretty much get two refills, and then once we're done with the two refills, when I get below 3 HP, it's all ogre. So let's hope I can do it in that time. Second phase is bad, though. Hi, Grandma! We love you! We saved Grandma! You don't do anything reckless now. Oh, don't worry. I will. Alright, I'm also going to go and get some arrows. I'm gonna get an arrow upgrade. I'm actually gonna super sim to get an arrow upgrade to make it just a little bit less sailing. Uh, let's go to uh, Thorn Fairy, shall we? Alright, we got a quiver upgrade and we got double magic and we got grandma soup. I am ready for the challenge. Are you ready for the challenge, Chad? Alright, can't wait to spend an hour here. All right, here we go. Good luck, Linkus. Thank you. I will need it. This is where we have to go through pain and suffering. Also, not only do you have no visual cue, by the way, on the cords of the second and third phase, the target is only for the mouth of Papa Ganon, which means that it also can't be used. So for all of you people out there that don't like the fact that you have an arrow that can kind of help you out, the targeting system does not help here. Because the targeting is targeting the wrong thing. This is going to be bad. All right. Time for the Swedish Sniper. I'm confident in the first phase. The first phase is going to go very easily and very smoothly. Trust me. I am very good at this game. First phase, easy clap. Second, third phase, bad. All right. Puppet Ganon. I wish you would stay just like you are in the cutscene right now. Uh, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Bye, Puppet Cannon. Easy clap. Easy clap. Easy clap. Like I said, first phase, not a problem. This is when it gets bad. Alright, here we go. I can't wait to look at the shadow in the water to see where he's going. Oh, wait. Please be the ball. Oh my god. Okay, we got lucky on the first one. That's already better than practice. What? What? What the hell? Yeah, that's more of how I'm expecting this fight to go. That's pretty much how it was in testing. This is pretty much RNG fest right here. Just pray to God that the ball is in the right place. The rope is in the middle of his body. The target is his head, though. But because of how big the arms are, even if I can see where the head is and I know that I'm on the wrong side, I can't react in time to change anything. He's not on the ground for long enough. Yes! Okay. That is literally so lucky. I tried for 10 minutes last night and didn't get a single hit in. Oh my god. His, his hair is still up. I can do this. Oh my god, this isn't bad.
Oh my god, dude, those first two hits being so lucky literally made this entire fight. I. What? What? Even with cheats, I can't do it. Hello? Ball? I guess he doesn't have hairy balls. I did not mean it that I meant that the hair doesn't extend to the golden ball that you shoot. That's what I meant. I meant that the hair only goes on his body, not out to the marker, okay? Oh no. Not Zelda and air again. The ice. The ice. Watch out for the air, Link. Watch out. You suck. You got beat up by air. <laughs> oh god, the eyes are back. Link just dropping there, he just looked so unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got this because I got this fight memorized Chad I don't need to see, even see the game to be able to do this fight prove it sure I'll try all right can't see Zelda? Where the hell did Zelda go? What? Where the hell did Zelda go? Whatever. Damn it! I think with one or two more tries, I can do it blindfolded. As long as I don't lose Zelda there, I think I can do this blindfolded. I'm just gonna- so that I don't have to look at all, I'm just gonna put a fairy in my bottle instead. Wish me good luck! The pain in the ass part is gonna be finding Zelda for the third phase of Ganon. Because for the third phase of Ganon, you need to talk to Zelda to set up so you can actually shoot Ganon. So I'm gonna have to just blindly run around and hope I can find her. Anyways, here we go. All right, where the hell is Zelda now? Uh. Zelda? Zelda? I heard audio from the left. Zelda? Oh! Got it. GG. All right. GG, there it is. We beat the Wind Waker HD with every single enemy invisible and blindfolded Ganondorf in four hours, 26 minutes and 21 seconds. Let's go. Didn't even need the fairy. Uh, by the way, if you enjoyed this YouTube video, please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more awesome content like this. And if you want to check out my daily channel and my VOD channel, click on the link in the description of this video. And obviously, if you want to watch two other awesome videos for me, you can click on the screen right now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all tons. Later, everybody. Bye-bye.